All right, welcome back, guys. I know it's been a little while. Um, I've done videos. I've recorded some on and off uh, videos of different things I was doing. It just it wasn't enough to actually like make a post, make a, a video on it really, because it was just kind of bits and pieces. Um, just oh, those was everywhere. So I'm just gonna fill you guys in with a little bit of stuff that's uh, again been going on, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Um, I've been working um, pretty difficult, pretty hard, I would say, to uh, trying to grow a new business here. Uh, I'm doing a, uh, a mobile mechanic uh, business that I'm offering in the Pittsburgh, PA area. So if anybody is looking for mechanical work, I'm your guy. Um, you guys seen the videos, I do a lot of mechanical work and stuff like that. Figured I'd try it out. So I went ahead and I did buy a nice new scanner as well. I bought a nice uh, uh, hotel. Uh, like professional scanner so I can uh, code do everything I even can adjust speed limiters on my thing I found out I've been messing around with it a good bit so I can in fact uh, adjust uh, speed limiters I can remove I can disable them so if anybody's interested in that kind of stuff too hit me up I got you so um, I can do I can do a ton of stuff um, but yeah guys I've been uh, kind of just on and off doing a lot of things here and there trying to keep busy um, but now yeah, there's not, not a whole lot going on at the moment, um, but the truck I did do um, a few things with. Um, trying to hold this phone up, it's heavy. But I've been doing a few things. Uh, I still got the, the other car here. But um, with the uh, truck, I did do a rear main seal on that. Um, I had to do that. Um, I don't think I have the parts anymore for it, the old stuff. Um, but I had some, oh, actually, you know what? No, right here they are. Never mind, guys. Check. Some injectors. Well, if anybody needs a couple injectors, hit me up. I got four left. So let me put that down. So these are um, these uh, Dika. I think these are 80 pound injectors. So if anybody's looking for, for these, they're uh, shorty, like stubby ones. They have these um, adapters to them. I was using them for my uh, the E55 at a time. We we'll tried to use them for the E55, but they just kept leaking at those uh, these like caps on them. <clears throat> so I just done away with that crap. Can't do it no more. But uh, yeah, so here's some, yeah, here we are guys. So this is the, this is a printout from the dealership. Oh, I do have, I do have parts. Yes, okay. So if you guys need um, parts for this, uh, for, uh, let me think, it's from 20, 12 I think 2012 to 14 F-150 with a 3.5 EcoBoost um, yeah and yeah, there it is yeah from 2012 to actually 2014 yeah okay so for the rear main seal that's the assembly um, the part number there so I got a couple of things on here I think I, yeah that was for that uh, you need some bolts too, which on here they gave me. Let's see if we could find some of these flywheel bolts. I believe it was not those, but no, they weren't on this one. But they did, in fact, give me um, uh, flywheel bolts. I don't think they're, they're torque to yield ones for that truck, but I had to replace them anyway because it was they're only like sixty bucks, and it was like seventy seventy five, I think, a dealer for the um, the retainer. They don't sell just the um, the seal itself, the rear main seal separately. It's a whole entire assembly, which is much easier to install than just trying to pop out a stupid seal on there. But then they gave some specs for the flywheel bolts. They're 75 to 85 foot pounds, 89 inch pounds for the rear main seal ones. So they're not, uh, it wasn't too difficult. It was a pretty easy job <clears throat> to installing that part, but taking the whole transmission out was a different thing. That was not very fun. But I did it because we were going on uh, vacation that following the end of that week and I did it on like Monday or Tuesday. It took me two days to, to do it myself. So it, it is a big job taking all that stuff apart, but well worth it. I have no oil leaks anymore. <clears throat> and I did just do a new, uh, was it a passenger side oil uh, or valve cover gasket? That was leaking on the back side of it and was dripping on the exhaust and causing it to smoke. Hated that. Didn't want to do that. <clears throat> so I went with that. And then what else did I do? What do I have laying around here, actually? 
Um, I did change the oil in it as well. I went with the uh, Liquid Molly this time. I'm trying the Liquid Molly out for once. I hear really good things about them. I used to use those in my bikes a lot. So decided to go with Liquid Molly. So, so far it's doing pretty dang good. But yeah, good. And also this is, this is my card, guys. This is my, I'll have to show you guys some, get some new lighting here, actually. So this is my card. So Zero Limit Mobile Mechanic. Obviously we got a copy of the, the, uh, YouTube channel here. This is it, guys. So, if you guys want it, give me a call, text, you can email me. Also, follow me on my uh, my Instagram. It's the same. It's uh, Zero Limit Mobile Mechanic. So, go ahead and check me out. You'll see this logo on here. I even have a new logo on my truck, which, uh, yeah, actually, I could probably show you that, too. So, uh, let's go on out there. All right. Here's the truck, guys. Here's the my new logo. So if you guys need any work done, hit me up. Well, uh, I'll take care of you for sure. Just got uh, some new tires. You can see I got rid of the uh, the 20 by 12s. Um, I needed some money, so I had to get rid of them. Went ahead and bought a new, uh, well, I guess used set of uh, tires. Got some uh, nice Michelin uh, Primacy XCs. These were like brand new, only like 250 bucks on eBay for all four of these. And I did um, rubber coat the entire frame on this truck. So it is completely clean. Even go in the back. I cleaned up all this stuff. This is all painted now. Everything's done. No more rust. <laughs> Gotta keep this thing tip top shape. But yeah guys. I got most of the tools, everything that I need to do, pretty much any job. So hit me up if you need anything. And uh, yeah, it's about that's about it right now, guys. I need uh, once I get some more money in here, got to get some new uh, uh, rotors put on the truck. My brakes are squeaking again. They're new. They're new pads and all the hardware, everything like that. But I didn't put new rotors on it. They are slightly warped, so I'm gonna have to put new pads on again anyway. So that, that's a whole thing, but we'll get to that later. But yeah, guys, that's uh, that's about my update right now. I don't want to drag this on too much, but uh, to kind of fill you guys in with what I've been doing, just kind of going around and helping out here and there. But yeah, guys, again, if you need any help with uh, automotive stuff and you're in the Pittsburgh area, I travel out just a little bit more. It depends. So just uh, let me know what you need and we can make something work out for sure. But yeah, guys, uh, that's about it for right now. And uh, Thanks for liking my videos. Uh, thanks for subscribing. I mean, I'm getting up there close to the 1,000 mark. I really appreciate it. So we'll keep uh, getting some more videos out here as much as I can. Uh, doing all that I can right now. So everything's kind of at a standstill. So we'll see what happens. But enough of that. Uh, thanks for watching again, guys. And I will catch you guys on the next one.